In an affluent district just north of Hamburg's city centre, Gregor Miebach starts filming out of his window, having heard what he thinks are gunshots. Is he in there somehow, Gregor says, as the shots continue. Huge numbers of police arrive very quickly, and shortly afterwards, there is a volley of shots. And a figure, apparently holding a firearm, can be seen outside the building, silhouetted against the window. The figure appears to shoot rapidly into the open window. By dawn, the police have established what had happened. At a Jehovah's Witness meeting hall in the building, six people were shot dead and a woman lost her unborn baby. The gunman, who was a former member of the religious community, then turned the gun on himself. In line with German privacy rules, only the initial letter of his surname has been released. Philip F. verfügte über eine waffenrechtliche Erlaubnis als Sportschütze. Philip F. had a weapons permit as a sports shooter, this official told a press conference. Authorities also said it was fortunate a police firearms unit happened to be nearby and without firing any shots themselves, managed to separate the gunman from the 50-strong congregation, preventing an even higher death toll. We are horrified and shocked, says the mother of the young man who filmed the shooting. A lot of people died within 50 meters of our house. That is still unimaginable. The police have acknowledged recently receiving an anonymous tip-off that Philip F. had a grudge against Jehovah's Witnesses and might be unfit to own a gun. Last year, the German government announced plans for tighter gun control. Catherine Jones, 5 News.